One of my all-time favorite utilities to pair with Dwarf Fortress is the Legends Viewer. While in-game Legend Mode does contain all the information a curious overseer might need, it's difficult to access once you start a fort in Fortress Mode. So I make it a habit to first export the Legends so I can continue accessing it during the lifetime of my Fortress. Why bother with Legends? It can be interesting to look up famous historical figures your dwarves are etching onto their artifacts or on their walls, and can even save your bacon when you start finding dwarves drained of blood. Since vampires often have storied pasts, they are easily identified using the Legends Viewer. The Legend Mode also helps contextualize events and motivates gameplay. Without it, you might not be aware that the civilization you're starting with has only a few members left, or even that the dwarves of this region have been at war with the elves for decades. You can also find the locations of some pretty exciting secret places using the Legends Viewer if you're planning an epic journey in Adventure Mode. To use the Legends Viewer, first generate a fresh world. Once it's completely generated to your satisfaction, head into the Legends Mode in the Dwarf Fortress console window. If you've already got a fortress on the go, you can type Open-Legends in the DF console window to get the Legends Mode working. Just make sure you back up your save if you're generating legends from a working fortress, just in case things go sideways. From here, I like to use a df command to export all the legends. Type export legends space all. So export legends all one word, and then space, and then all. This takes time, so be patient and grab yourself a drink. You'll know it's complete when you're able to scroll up and down on the legends menu in Dwarf Fortress screen with the cursor keys. Now. Open up the Legends Viewer. I use the Lazy Noob Pack so I can find the Legends Viewer in the Utilities tab. Once it's open, hit the Ellipses button beside the Legends XML Archive to load up your region's legends. The XML file is named after the region's number as assigned by Dwarf Fortress by default. From here, you can navigate through the different civilizations. You can use the tabs in the top left to get more specific information on wars, historical figures, and various other things. You can even search within these tabs if you're looking for something specific. Many of the details are hyperlink enabled, so you can peruse the information related to your topic of research with ease. The world map is also a great way to learn about secret places, or to help familiarize yourself with the landscape your dwarves are living in. I also spend a lot of time on the screen of my own civilization when I'm planning out my fortress. The gods and goddesses of your civilization are listed out here, as well as population counts for each species. Check it out! It's like having your very own fantasy novel Wikipedia page.